bilateral diplomatic relations between Ghana and Nigeria have been in place since before colonialism, with migration between both countries in the late 50s and late 70s. The relationship between both countries hasn't always been pleasant. In the late 1960s, Ghana expelled large numbers of Nigerian residents for failing to adhere to immigration laws. In 1981, at a time when Ghana relied on Nigeria for about 90% of its petrol requirements, Nigeria suspended all exports to the country and then went on to expel around 1 million Ghanaian residents in 1983 and another 300,000 in 1985. May her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Yeah. Apparently, the situation isn't that much better, as some members of various Nigerian traders groups in Ghana are asking for protection from the chairman of the Economic Community of West African States. We are presenting this petition to Mr. President because of what is going on. We want Mr. President to come and salvage the situation. Save our souls, correct? Yes. Save the souls of Nigerians in Ghana from xenophobic attacks, from the, 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 the dismantling of their means of livelihoods. Thank you very much. As I'm talking to you, so many of our continents are still in war because what the local did was to go and check all our trade names. And they're using it in everywhere. They have used it in GRA. And we have lost so much money to GRA, that's Ghana Revenue Authorities. The senior special advisor to President Buhari on foreign affairs and diaspora urged the traders to be law-abiding as a solution to the situation will be reached soon. The president of Ghana assured our president that Nigerian traders are not being targeted. When they said foreigners, he assured that they were not referring to African nationals. So, and as, and as at that time, which you said 27, an instruction was given that all those shops should be reopened. So I'm very surprised that you are here today, that as of today, which is the um, 9th of October, your shops, over 400 shops are still being closed. So I'm definitely going to convey your message to Mr. President. I appeal to you, as Mr. President has, has, has always done, to always be law abiding. No matter the provocation, do not take any laws into your hands. The relationship between Nigeria and Ghana is a crucial one for the West African region. Trade ties are particularly important. This dispute between the two countries concerning the status of Nigerian traders in Ghana could lead to another crisis in a region that is desperately in need for a solution from the economic downturn brought about by terrorism. Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.